Hey there, Dewdrops. It's Diane from Corvina. Welcome back to day four of our water marbling palette. Okay, so we are using lavenders and powder blues uh, for this week and maybe in the next week. So I really like these color combinations. I've created kind of a mood board on Pinterest. So if you follow the link below, you can get taken to uh, what inspired these pretty papers and this color scheme. I think you'll fall in love with it too. I hope you like it. So today we are using a lot of purples, a lot of lavenders, okay? These guys here. I haven't found a good way to like show you. <laughs> show you my paints. All right, that, that one fell in the tray, that's okay. And then a little bit of this blue gray, okay? So my goal, a lot of purple, a little bit blue. All right, let's go, let's make. Okay guys, I think we're gonna put this one down as our primer layer and we're gonna let it sit and disperse. I think we're gonna do a couple of layers of color here, a couple of doing some lines today, stacking up some paints. I think we'll come in with oh let's do this grapey purple on the first lighter color oh too much too much that one's gonna spread really far that's a bummer that's okay that's the beauty of water marbling you never know what you're gonna end up with no mistakes we're just happy little dew drops so I hope everybody's doing well. Hope everything's going good in your lives. Okay, so there we go. Maybe let's add in this lighter purple. You can see our powder blue showing through on the, the back end here on our in between our lines. I think that's really nice. It's really looking vibrant there. So I think I'm gonna stop And maybe we'll do some fine lines today, some little non corrals. So we're kind of come in with our comb or our rake and start moving it around. I really use the terms interchangeably. I don't think you're supposed to, but that's what I do. The thing, give me the thing that moves the paint. <laughs> All right, nice and slow. Here we go, guys. Trying to get my hand right out of the way. And then we'll do it one more time. Go in the opposite direction. You hear that squeak? Sorry about that. That's the sound of water marbling. Did you know that? Ooh, I'm so tempted to stop here because it's so pretty. I was going to do something else for you guys. Um, but I really like this one, so we're going to follow our rule and we're going to stop when we know it looks good. You always run the danger of like working the paint too much and breaking up some of that pretty color. All right, so we're going to go ahead and dip it down. Got our white sheet of paper bending slightly at the middle and lowering it down nice and flat. All right, dew drops, here we go. Let's pull this out of the water and see what we've got. Oh, very pretty, little bit of a hesitation line. That's okay, it's gonna be pretty anyways. Get it laid down flat here. So remember, this is day four. We're coming back with another one for a fifth one in our water marbling series. So dewdrops, I hope you're having a good day wherever you are, whatever you're doing. Hope it's awesome. Okay. Goodbye. Remember to like, comment, and share this video because it really helps me out. And head over to coravina.com to find some water marbled beautiful scarves or art prints. Okay. All right. Bye. Remember, live colorfully.